Get on production. What's up guys? Welcome back to JoJo's YouTube channel. I'm glad you are watching today. You are my number one supporter. Um, so today I wanted to introduce y'all to a new upper body workout that I did today. It was so good. So females, this is a good upper body workout if you're trying to tone the upper body. Also, this is a good workout to pump those boobies up, ladies. So this workout I stopped doing chest workouts for a while like I kind of slowed down on it I wasn't really focused on chest workouts and when I was doing chest workouts my boobs this is not I hope this is not a weird conversation but my boobs were a lot perkier and I slowed down on doing my chest workouts um, didn't really focus on them that much and I swear to you they have decreased in size anyway so while we're gonna get those puppies pumped up today our main target today is chest, but we will also be doing other muscle groups in the arms, so we'll be kind of targeting the biceps and the triceps while doing chest, and I also kind of put in some workouts for tricep and biceps just to take a little bit of the pressure off the chest. We gotta take care of these babies right here. Also, if you haven't subscribed, there's a little subscribe button down in the bottom. Be sure to click that so that way you are subscribed to my channels and you will keep track of all the workouts I upload. Also, be sure that you click the notification bell. If you haven't clicked that, it, you will not get notified of my new workouts, so click it so that way you can get notified for my new workouts. And also, I'll put my username for my Instagram up here, but there is a link in my profile banner. Okay, so you can click that and it'll take you straight to Instagram and straight to my profile. So be sure to click that. All right, let's get started. All right. You're gonna keep your feet flat right here. <laughs> See how to like walk my Yeah, like all the way, yeah. So here we are doing a five by fifteen to twenty reps of bench press. I know a lot of females don't like to bench press, but this is a very good warm up workout for me. So the targeted muscles while doing this workout is the majority of your chest area, a little bit of your triceps, and a little bit of the front part of your shoulders. We are doing a five by 15 to 20 reps, because when we are working out and we have more speed and more endurance in the workout, we're increasing our metabolism. Our body burns more calories as well. More reps with a good amount of weight is more valuable to the body than a high amount of reps with low weight that isn't challenging. So what's the point? If you're doing low reps, that's not even challenging. So in order to bench, you're going to lie on the bench with your eyes under the bar. You're gonna grab the bar. Your arms should be able to make a perfect 90 degree angle either when you come down or as you're holding the bar, depending on how high the bar is from your forehead. Unrack the bar by straightening your arms. Lower the bar to like your mid chest area under your boob. When you press back up, do not lock your arms out. You want to keep them a little bit bent so that way you have a controlled bench. So in order to do cable flies, you take two, you should be standing in the middle you should be standing in the middle of the cables. You're gonna take two, one to two steps out. You're gonna keep one leg forward, the other one back, so that way you have balance. You're gonna have the cables in your hand. Your hands should be kind of aligned with the height of your chest as well. You're going to bring them in, kind of like you're hugging a little child or something. 
You're not straightening up your arms. Your arms should be slightly bent, not too much. And you're going to bring it in and then go back out and then bring it in, just like I'm doing. So the ab workout I'm doing is a crunch to a toe touch. So what you're going to do is you're going to lay on the ground flat, that's your beginning position, and then you will take one elbow, place the hand under your head, and you will bring that elbow and that knee, opposite elbow, opposite knee, together and touch and initiate the obliques. You are flexing the muscles. You have to focus on flexing the muscles and then you bring it in and touch knee to elbow. After that, you come back down to your lying position where you started with and immediately initiate the core and go up and toe touch, okay? Elbow and knee meet in the middle, toe and finger meet in the middle, okay? And focus on bringing that shoulder off the floor. Okay, don't just bring your head off the floor. Be sure you're bringing the elbow off the floor. The next workout is incline dumbbell, four by 15 reps. Then you have push-ups after that, four by 10. And then you have abs of four by 20 reps. So you're gonna hit incline dumbbell, and then you're gonna hit push-ups, and then you're gonna hit abs, then you're gonna go back to incline dumbbell. So it's kind of like a circuit. The muscles you target when you're doing incline dumbbell is the upper portion of your chest, your deltoids, which is like the front portion of your shoulders, and a little bit of the triceps. So in order to do the dumbbell incline, you want to take, you want to lay on a bench that's at an incline. You're going to hold the dumbbells aligned with your chest, the sides of your chest, and you're going to go up and bring the dumbbells together, but don't touch the dumbbells. You don't want to touch, okay? Never touch the dumbbells together. And you always keep your elbows slightly bent. So you just start at the side boob, go up, don't touch dumbbells, go back down. Immediately go back down and have that control slow motion. So with the push-ups, just get on your hands and feet. Align your hands to where when you come down to do the push-up, your thumbs are like right next to your boobs, right next to your chest. So when you have it aligned like that, you're doing it good and you keep your whole back straight. Everything needs to be straight. Your butt doesn't need to be in the air. Your back shouldn't be arched at all. Everything should be straight. And you're just going to press down. You're going to go down and then press up. Your breathing is very important when you're doing this. Do not lock your arms out when you come up. Just keep everything bent and just initiating the chest. The next workout is seated dumbbell curls 4x15. And then you have an overhead tricep extension 4x15. And then you have abs four by 20. So you're gonna hit the seated dumbbell curls to the overhead tricep extension and then to the abs and back and forth four times each. So in the gym, I find a good seated platform. I sit with good posture. I keep my arms touching the seat. This isolates my biceps when I'm doing the reps. I have no ability to swing my arms at all when I'm doing these type of biceps sitting down. My curls are slow and controlled and I'm focusing, flexing just the bicep. For the overhead tricep extension, I basically hold the dumbbell with my hands, put them together like a triangle. I start high with the dumbbell above my head. I lower the dumbbell behind my head and stop when my hands are near the back of my neck. I push back up and flex the triceps. So really focus on flexing the triceps when you're doing this workout. So this ab workout is called the bird dog crunch. What I've heard, you get on your hands and knees and you extend your opposite hand with the opposite leg. Extend it out, just like I'm doing. You then crunch under and touch elbow to knee. So your opposite elbow should be touching your opposite knee. Be sure you are squeezing your oblique muscles when you're going to touch. 
Bring your head into the crunch as well. Focus on the bend in your back when you're crunching. So really focus on flexing your obliques and crunching in when you touch the knee to the elbow. All right, I hope you enjoyed the upper body workout that I put together. Let me know if you've tried it. Comment below, like the video, let me know, save it for later. Also, be sure to take notes when you watch the video. If you didn't take notes, go back and take notes again. <sighs> Oopsie if you didn't. Um, also, be sure to click down below. There's a little tiny subscribe button down below. Be sure to click it. And also, be sure to the notification bell. This will notify you when all my workouts are uploaded or any other kind of crazy uh, videos I upload. Um, and also, this is my Instagram. Be sure to follow my Instagram. There's a little uh, link in my profile banner. You can go and locate that and click that and it'll take you straight to my Instagram. Um, sometimes I upload videos on Instagram too because that's like a fast and easy way to see workouts. So, have a great day. Enjoy the workout and I'll see y'all on the flip.